Let's see how we populate list type widgets. There are various different types of widgets. There's this regular desktop one here. Um, and here we've got a, a mobile list one, but you can find other things here like uh, in the comment section, drop downs, list boxes. In the mobile ones, we've got pop up list box, pop up drop down, uh, and the one that's on the page here, the mobile list. Um, you can populate these from JavaScript, and that's shown in a different video in this Learning Center section. You can also populate them from the um, integration features. So here this data section allows you to pull data in from a database. Um, and what we're going to look at is this probably the simplest way of doing things, which is to populate them using the list item dialog. And this lets us just manually create items, so you can see here. And these then can be used for fixed display, for navigation. Um, and let's just go into a little bit more detail on the mobile list dialog. So on the left-hand column, we've got label. All these uh, list types have a label property as well as a value property. That is a data value that's stored in association with, with um, each item. And if you're storing data in the Application Craft backend, that will get stored as well as the label. The aside, that is the... Um, a little bit of subtext that displays to the right hand side of the uh, of the list here. So if I scroll down to the bottom, a number of those features have to be switched on through the property bar. For example, uh, the aside thing I was just mentioning. Let's try and find that. Um, that is here, show aside. So let's set that to true. And now you can see the aside text shows here. Uh, you, there are also other things like uh, numbered list there we are, and um, inset, that gives it a slightly inset rounded corners, whether we want to show an image in here as well. That's all covered best in the user guide. Let's bring the dialog back up again. Uh, so um, this is the value that would appear in the aside. There's a count bubble that can be switched on in the same way from the property bar. The image to display, a divider. This displays, if I move this out to the side, you can see fruit and vegetables are dividers. And if I want to use this, this list for navigation, then rather than having to write any JavaScript, I could just uh, select one of these things here and jump to uh, a specific page in the app. So uh, that's the, uh, the standard way of configuring these things. Uh, what we can also do, though, is we can import resources from the that have been uploaded into the console. So if I select here Import Resource, it will show the resources and actually allow me to import, for instance, CSV type data straight in to my list here. That's then fixed data. If you're looking for dynamic list contents, then you'll want to use uh, either the JavaScript population approach or the data view population.